Hello everyone, this is Neronium. Welcome back to the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Last time we finished up Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage by getting all the remaining skill points in the game and finishing up Dragon Shores after defeating Ripto once and for all. Enter the Dragonfly does not exist. And in this episode, we're going to be tackling the last game of the Reignited Trilogy, and that is Spyro Year of the Dragon. So without further ado, let's start. Stop her! <laughs> we managed to capture the eggs, Your Highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it! Yeah. All right. Off the bat, uh, seeing the sorceress's design is interesting, to say the least. Not too keen on the voice. Maybe that's something I'll get used to. I, I felt that... Ripto's from Ripto's Rage was pretty accurate. Like, it wasn't the exact same, but it tried to emulate it. In this case, I don't feel that the sorceress's voice is trying to emulate the old voice actress. That could just be me, though. Again, it's just gonna have to be something I'm gonna have to get used to. But welcome to Spyro. Oh, you can't swim in this? I'm trying to dive. Won't let me dive. <laughs> Interesting. Now, I was told something in the comments, I think during Ripto's Rage. Yep, Spark still has his gem pointing ability. Hmm, I wonder what the other power ups are going to be then later in the game. We'll get more into that later, but first things first, the name of the game Dragon Eggs. Collect the dragon eggs and return them home. Simple as that. 
So, Sunrise Spring. Interesting first level. I'm liking how they did the music for it already. So. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> how sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry, and you won't like me when I'm angry. A lot of expressive emotion on that character. Interesting. Whoa. Motorcycle outside. Uh, this is actually a problem because it's starting to get hot enough to where, you know, the room that I record in is actually starting to get pretty hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I have discovered why. I'm using a different PS4 controller right now. Um, I got it at a goodwill. I think I can see why it was you know, donated. Is that those inputs of me running into that wall, that was that was not me. Controller wouldn't stop either. Usually this will fix it. Usually it's just uh, drifting with the sticks. But let us grab gems. I'm late for a dinner party at the Tiki Lodge, and the portal to my home just stopped working. Maybe the portal will reactivate after a few more dragons hatch. So, you need ten eggs to open this portal. Wait. And... Bada boop. Hello, Liam. See, that's what I'm really interested in. I'm really interested in seeing the dragon animations, because full disclosure on everything, this is the... I said last time I didn't really know that much about Ripto's Rage when it comes to... Do you like no. the active camera? Yes. Okay. No, don't change to passive. Um, when it came to Ripto's Rage, I'd seen a few things about it. I'd seen Ripto. I'd seen, um, like, some of the levels. In this game's case, for the remaster, I've seen one level for, like, three seconds, and that's it. Everything else I have not seen for the remaster of this game. Except for what the animal friends looked like, because when I was cutting out, you know the things for um, the logo, I did end up having like that shown to me. So I know what all the friends look like. I don't know their voices though, so that's what I'm interested in. I'm very interested in that. Right. Let's get all the gems. We need at least 300 gems to free our first animal friend from captivity. Feels like we're actually making real good headway inside of this game, to say the least. Well, not this game, in the Reignited Trilogy in general. I mean, I've been going on this game for quite a while, a lot longer than I should have. But hey, school gets in the way. Let's see what this. Oh, seals have whiskers. Here I whiskers. was, about to go for a nice swim at Shell Beach, when my portal just up and disappears right in front of me. If you go find some more of those dragon eggs, I bet this portal would start working again. All right. Now let us finish up this home world. As usual, I'm gonna try and split up episodes into worlds, and if I can do multiple ones, I will do that. Although, the thing is with Spyro. Uh, wait, does it drag me down there? Hello, Bruce. What the? 
uh, with Spyro 3, the main thing for backtracking has to deal with your friends and freeing them in another world to be able to access them later. I don't want to talk to you, Hunter, but I know I'm going to have to. Yo, Spyro! I just found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world, but you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. All right. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the action button at the end of your glide. That's nice. Will it drop me like a rock like it was doing in Spyro 2? Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Hello, Coltrane. Right. Get more gems. This is a super fly power up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Also, gives us different powers depending on which power up it is. Although, in this game, when compared to Spyro 2, there aren't as many power ups. It's usually just Superfly, Super Flame. I think there's one instance of invincibility in the game. Because most of the time, this game doesn't really require you to go over like surfaces that require like lava or anything. Yeah, there's invincibility is only really in one level that I can think of. Right. And boop. Hello, Amy. Some of these dragons look downright ugly. Only a mother could love them. Go over this way. Get some more gems over this way. Good old gem radar. My favorite. Oh, okay. More gems right here. Not gonna talk to you. Mm, yes, the elephant in the room. Wait, where'd you point to, Sparks? Hey. Now for this way. Really wish you could do the gem radar while you were moving. There's a five. Another five. I'm missing one in the water. Oh, there it is. And there we go. 400 out of 400. Level complete. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about the text being the red and yellow tint that they are. But now that we are done with Sunrise Spring Homeworld, let us talk to. Oh, we can't actually talk to them. I can still roll. Hello, my Spyro. dear boy. My, my, how funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, my business went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be very fond of dragons, too. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape. If you were to pay me, say, a small fee. Don't worry, Spyro. Sheila won't stay in jail forever. 
Sorceress is thinking about having her executed next Thursday. My goodness. I'm getting paid a fortune to keep... All right. So, let's free Sheila. Ah, Spyro. I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday. But for the time being, it's making me rich. <laughs> I uh, hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you'd be one of them dragons then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. All right, and there we go. Moneybags got his comeuppance. I can see that in HD gloriousness. Totally what I meant to say. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This. Okay, there we go. Controller was still acting right. I'm probably going to switch controllers in between parts. Um, this has been Neuronium. Next time, we're going to be going to Sheila's Alp first. And then doing sunny villa so see you all next time